groups, and then you have these very, very smart people who are mixed in with some idiots, some narcissists, and some fools, and I can't deviate and understand which is who is who. So I, I don't have the patience for it, but she does, so thank you, baby. So wonderful. Amen. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that, uh, and if you guys want our website, you will actually find this. Uh, the Apostle Paul, and I think maybe 57 CE, he was in Corinth, and he wrote a letter to the church of Corinth, and uh, we get the book of Romans. Romans 8 and 28, for we all know that all things work together, as my brother said, for the good of them that love the Lord, who will call according to his purpose. Um, and usually we use that as a proclamation as believers, because it says, basically, it doesn't matter pretty much what you go through, if we know that it's going to work out, because it's according to his purpose, if it's according to his purpose. Um, and me and my smart self, sometimes I end up reading and I ask God, my like, God, why did you give us this assignment? And I'm not quite understanding. I'm reading this passage over and over again. And then I started to understand that I learned in school that there was a subject and a predicate. But I keep reading this verse over and over again. I see a subject, a predicate, a conjunction, a past participle, and then another subject. Ah, uh, my God. According to his purpose. Uh oh, my God. And then I remember what well, Pops taught me. And then I started reading some more according to his purpose. And I started to understand that anytime God has a will and a purpose for your life, there's an assignment attached to it. And in the words of the great Reverend Nipsey Hustle, God rest his soul, the last time that I checked. Yeah, he's a preacher. Uh, he's a preacher. Yeah, he is. <laughs> God doesn't give easy aids. He don't give easy assignments. No, he don't. And so what I started to realize is that I started to get a bit anxious because I started to understand what God was trying to do with us. I'm like, God, you do know that I failed my first marriage as well. I'm like, God, I'm from the country of Texas where I've been taught to shoot first and don't ask no questions later. That's what we do in Texas. God, you know that I have a bit of an attitude problem, so if I, the spirit doesn't dwell with us 24-7 and, and spend no special time with my wife and these people that aggravated me, you may get cussed out. Amen. You know, you, 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 you do understand, God, this is the things that I'm dealing with, but he said that I, I'm going to choose you guys because I'm going to put you in a fishbowl. Ah, because I'm going to work out this trauma so people can actually really understand that all things yes, really God. do work together because you got to understand, as we talked about garden. There's some things that were deeply rooted in me that I'm still working through. Yeah, we all that is still That's working right. through my we wife. Are. Are. That is still working through us daily. That we have to go to God daily and talk to the Holy Spirit daily about things. God, why do I have these issues? So I'm just saying that God was reminded of fishbowl. Yeah. So now I'm going to allow everyone to be able to see how everything really can work together. How he can pull some things out of you. So I just want to say once again, I thank you guys. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. A lot of times when we go through these attacks and the things that we had to go to pull this together, it's not even necessarily us. We had to learn something really quick about ministry is that, you know, we have to be patient and we have to be kind and God was helping me deal with my flesh and broadening my tongue and you know, just some of the things, and I know we ain't supposed to be saying all this because we're supposed to be holy in the thou, but I just ain't there all the time. So, with that being said, thank you guys. We Amen. appreciate it. Anything Amen. else, baby? That'll do. Oh. <laughs> Meet the proud. God bless you. Uh, we'll turn it back over to Bishop to give us our benediction. Thank you guys once again for coming out and spending time with us and kicking it with us. We pray that you really enjoyed yourselves and that you got something from this. We will continue to do this uh, on an e even grander scale. And every round is just going to continue to go yeah. higher and higher. And yes. Higher. And so we thank you guys for just being here because you could have been anywhere else. And we don't take that for granted. Let's stand, y'all. This is a beautiful, this is beautiful.